Not a lot of people are know this, but fall is actually an excellent time to plant because roots are going to be developing in the plant in the soil for the next couple of months while the temperatures are warm. And the plant's going dormant above ground, so you don't have to worry about extra plant stresses as you would in the spring. Now, it's very simple for planting. We're going to recommend that you dig a hole only as deep as the root ball, but at least twice as wide because the roots are going to be growing out laterally to anchor the plant and get a lot of nutrients and water. So first step, take the pot off, and you're going to want to use a hand cultivator and really break the roots apart that have gotten bound up during the summer in the pot. And don't be afraid to overdo it because it's better to break them apart than leave them in that shape where they can't grow out. Time to get it in the ground. Because we're planting a young crepe myrtle and the roots are only about maybe about 10 inches deep, we're only going to dig about a 10 inch deep hole. And of course this soil is a lot looser than most of you will find at home. But mixing some compost in is an excellent way to get this nice black crumbly rich soil. And one other tip is to roughen up the sides of your hole. It's not as problematic here, but clay will tend to form a pot of its own if you leave it in that smooth surface from the shovel. All right, nice pretty level bottom. Go ahead and set our plant in. All right. Especially if you'd be using compost, I don't need to here. Mix it up and backfill with a nice soil. Of course, we're almost cheating here because we've got this nice soil we've tilled for years. And you want to resist the urge to step on it, at least hard, so you don't compact it and undo all your efforts. and level. Now what I would do is water it in. What we recommend is one of the root stimulant fertilizers to go ahead and give those roots a good soak so they have minimal shock. You'd use the water which will settle the soil around the root ball just a bit and then you go ahead and top it off so that you want it sitting nice and level where it was. The roots aren't any deeper or any shallower. And last but not least a top dressing of mulch would be great. Keeps the winter weeds away, keeps the soil moist. You want to cover two, three inch layer and just keep it off of the trunk. Don't pile the uh, mulch around the stem the way you'll see some trees done. That's actually a harmful practice. And then just check it for water. You want to feel the roots a couple inches down. If it's moist, it'll feel moist and cool. Stick to your finger. You just want to have to check on it before the ground freezes. Make sure it's moist enough to go into winter. More necessary on evergreens than deciduous, but you want to make sure the new plant roots aren't too dry and you're all set. Fall is an excellent time to plant, so we encourage you to get out and put everything in the ground now that you want to overwinter. It's a lot more insulated this way, and uh, I think that's about it. <laughs>